Today, we will be doing various different things, including some rock tapping, corkboard scratching, chalk on cardboard, uh, face brushing, camera brushing, mic brushing, anything you want to consider for the brushing. And uh, we also have some gripped gloves for a light little scratching sound. I hope you can enjoy what I'm about to provide for you. So the first item I have is a piece of cardboard and some chalk. And I'm just going to show you like this, and then I'll move back and forth. So you get the binaural effect along with some hand motions while I draw on the piece of cardboard. So we're going to start with it here. As you can see, it has already been drawn on in a previous video. There are various different ways you can sketch onto this piece. You can go in lines. can do some squiggly little lines as well, like I was doing. You do both fast and slow. You can do crosses or X's. You can even do a little visual image, like a face or a building or something like that. You can basically create anything you wish. I hope you like the black and white effect, and the nice black backdrop as well, to give a very cool and dark feel, so the light is not too overpowering. So if you're watching it on your phone, you don't have to lower the brightness. You can just watch it as is. Let's try to fill this entire piece of board. Now, instead of just drawing all over it, you can take the piece of chalk and just glide it up and down the piece of cardboard. Thank you. 
You can get fancy with it. Or you can just do it any way you like. spread some of the chalk with your, your fingers as it can be quite dusty. Now, this piece is not only good for drawing on like that, but you can also make various different sounds just by bending it. And this side is laminated, so it has a different feel to it. You can tell. That's the side that we drew on, and the laminated side has more of a smooth feel and a less harsh sound. You can't really brush both sides of it because the rough side will overpower the sounds of the smooth side. And you can also tap on it. since it's a different material of this side compared to that side, it will produce a different kind of sound. And you can go at any rate of speed you wish. You can do it slower or you can do it faster. closeness of an object can produce different kinds of sounds. The closer it is, the louder, and the further away, the less loud it is. I'm sure you probably already knew that, but think of this as a test example.
let's see what the sound is like when I use a brush. Now I have my four inch brush. This is used for painting large areas, um, specifically like a wall or something. Instead of using a roller, you can use this brush. Anyway. And you can see all of the chalk has been brushed off, which is good. It gives us a clean palette. Now when you watch ASMR videos, do you watch for tingles? Do you watch for peace of mind? Do you watch just for an entertainment purpose? Everybody is different, but I like to watch, depending on who it is, for relaxation, entertainment, or any kind of way. Each artist offers something different. You can think of this in a symbolic way, where you're just brushing away your troubles. Now I'm a very neat person, and if I see something like it was before, where it wasn't quite patterned, it was just kind of squiggly and everything, it's nice to see the palette cleaned. And it's nice to see, or to use, something like this, where you can just brush away any imperfections. So think of this as a way of cleaning any of the imperfections or any kind of issue. Okay. And it fits perfectly. So you have this and you just fit perfectly over the square or the rectangle and use the square-like brush. And two quick strokes, maybe one in the middle, to get rid of the, the line. Clears the palette. So now we have a clear palette once more. So I hope you enjoyed that. Now, a lot of people have enjoyed the cork board, and it has a very smooth feel to it, but this one is imperfect, as you can see. The edges are very rigid, and it is not a perfect shape. And you can think of this as any issue, okay? 
and we're going to use the brush again. And although we can't completely fix the, in, the impurity of it, you can clean the top of it and make it as presentable as you can. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold it up like this. Okay. If you can see it, I'm just going to Just going to brush any of the impurities on top of the surface here and remove anything that we do not wish to be there. Okay. Let's change uh, direction. So you can see it. We're just going to going to act as though we don't like the color, and we're going to add our own. So. Let me dip, and we're just going to make sure we fill the hole. Okay. Now, although we're not actually painting it, we're going to pretend we are. We're just going to fill the entire canvas, if you will, and change the look of it. Okay. Just going to get every crevice. All right. Okay, now we'll turn to the back, and if you can see, there is some glue on it. So instead of using this brush on a smoother surface, we're going to use a smaller brush, okay? And what that's going to do is it's going to get into these rough patches easier than a big brush. Now. You can use the big brush to fill it with paint, but if you're painting it like that, with a thick amount of paint on here, you'll get more chunks, and we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch brushes, and we're going to use a smaller brush, okay? Apologize for the blur. Anyway, we have a small brush here, like a makeup applicator. And there's a lot of holes and pores in this piece, along with the impurities. Okay, I can just show you. See all the, the pores here? And uh, the glue on here, there's some chunks. I don't know if you can see. And what we're going to do is we're just going to dip our brush again in our make-believe paint. And we're just going to gently dab the paint onto the surface here to cover up these bumps and impurities without putting too much on. So we're just going to fill up our brush some more and just, just get right up and cover the impurities. Okay. Hope you are enjoying this. It's 
fill up some more. Now you can either dip and drag a little, or you can just mash it. It's up to you. I personally like to fill it, and dip it, and drag it a little bit downward. Okay. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. Okay. So we are completing that stage. And we're just going to move on to the next item of choice. Okay. two rocks and we're just going to do a quick rubbing of the rocks and you let me know if you like it or you don't like it many people don't like it because it feels like or in this case sounds like somebody drawing on a chalkboard with their nails and a lot of people think of it as a light grinding that's relaxing okay I think it really depends on the speed in which it's being grinded. you can notice one rock is more rigid and the other rock is smoother okay now they both have different kinds of sounds but when you merge them together they have a very similar sound And I do enjoy saying the word rock. 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 It's a very hard and rough and strong word. Okay. So now we're going to take the brush again. And we're just going to brush this rock. The smoother one. All right. So we're going to take our rock. All right. We're going to take the brush. I'm just going to brush this rock. We're not painting it this time. We're just cleaning it off. All right. And this is water. I'm just going to wash away any kind of dust. All right. <laughs> 
Nobody likes a dirty rock. I'm just gonna clean that our rock hard rock. Okay. Just gonna make sure we get all the edges, or in this case, the curves. Okay. It's a very smooth rock. Turn him around. Get it all wet again. And wipe it off. This rock is rather clean. Okay, I think our rock is nice and clean. A rock hard rock, nice and clean. And now we're going to just work on the final item. Okay. We have the gripped gloves. Alright. And I am just going to use these gripped gloves and we're going to do a quick fade out okay so i hope you had a good time in this session today i look forward to seeing you in the future